What's going on guys? Back at it again with another Fallout New Vegas video. So in the last one, what we ended up doing is sighted uh, with uh, the caravan trader. And we essentially basically backed up Good Springs. And now uh, if you can see in the map... Oh wait, I was just there. If you see in the map, we are now idolized with Good Springs. Which is something that for some strange reason is very important for me. To be idolized with this town. It's not the easiest thing to do because you have to save a specific NPC from dying. And that can be pretty difficult in itself because she is pretty squishy. But other than that, uh, something that I do want to do is go around this town of Good Springs and actually talk to the NPCs. Because we didn't actually do that. We kind of prioritized the mission. And we didn't actually get to know any of the NPCs that live here in Good Springs. But as far as Good Springs goes, we're pretty much done. There's nothing left to do here. Uh, we did learn from uh, the uh, from the lady that works at the Prospector Saloon. I believe her name is Judy. I, I could be wrong with that, but it's the the main lady that works at the Prospector Saloon. She told us that we should look in uh, at Prim. So that's going to be our next hit point. Uh, but for now, let's go ahead and talk to all the NPCs and see what kind of new dialogue or anything period that they have to essentially tell us so with that being said let's get to it all right also um before we actually get into a deep dive or whatever do me a huge favor drop a like on the video and if you're not already subscribe too because that really does help so let's talk to easy pete howdy hi um do you know anything of the, about the people who attacked me the one in the fancy suit seemed to be calling the shots. That's as much as I know. Other folks in town might know more. Word of advice, though. If you ever catch up with him, watch out. The man's got cold eyes like a snake. Can't be trusted, I'd say. Uh, what do you know about Joe Cobb? Bad trouble. Yeah, that's helpful. Welcome. <laughs> uh, why are you called Easy Pete, by the way? was a prospector until I decided to settle here to get away from the NCR. Now, we'll just take it easy and help out with the Brahmin and Big Horners. Uh, you were a prospector? Like, digging for gold and silver? Nah, nah. Means I poked through old buildings looking for working tech and such. Some folks just call it salvaging, but never liked the term. The way I see it, salvage means it's broken, near worthless. Me, I look for the good stuff. Guns, camps, spare parts. Good money in it. That yeah, makes sense. Uh, did you ever find anything good while prospecting? Nope. Had a pretty good claim once, way out east by the river. But got run off by raiders. Eventually got too old to keep going out. So what's wrong with the NCR? Don't get me wrong. The NCR's got a lot of decent folk in it. It's just that they make you part of them whether you like it or not. Towns like Good Springs and Prim don't stay independent for long. Not if you've got something the NCR wants. Still, the NCR keeps the Legion away. Okay, well... If they're not perfect, tell me about the Legion. They're slavers. Led by a guy named Caesar. That's not better. Kaisar. Not sure how you're supposed to say it. A couple of years ago, they tried to take over Hoover Dam, but the NCR beat them back. The NCR didn't or couldn't finish the job, though. The Legion's got its strength back and is getting ready for another round at the dam. My money's still on the NCR winning, but you never know. We've been hearing stories about Legionaries on the Nevada side of the river, so keep a gun handy. You don't want to get caught by them. So, what's so important about the Hoover Dam? The dam powers a lot of New Vegas. And then there's all that clean water lying in Lake Mead, too. Anybody who owns the dam owns the territory. Uh, what do you use bighorns for? Meat and hide, mostly. Can't put a pack on them. They just lay down until you take it off can find a bunch of wild ones high up in the hills, but gotta be careful around them. They can put up a decent fight if cornered. 
Uh, do you do you know anything about Victor? The machine, harmless. No matter what Trudy says, she Trudy. thinks he's hiding something. But I think it's just a broken down relic with no place to be. So I called her Judy, but it was Trudy. Eh, it was close. Yep. See you later, Easy Pete. Let's see if uh, Sunny Smiles actually has any new dialogue since we actually helped uh, whatever his name is. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Damn right. Uh, I need to get to Prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is a town with a roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear, but I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Uh, I'm a little short on caps. I don't suppose there's any work available, is there? Not in Good Springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine? On locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. And what about the bobby pins? What are those for? You'll need those to pick the lock. Got Be you. careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. Uh, I mean, it makes sense. They are bobby pins. Uh, alright, I gotta take a look at that safe when I have a chance. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. So what do you do around here anyways? I hunt geckos mostly. The meat's pretty good and I can always find a buyer for the hides. I also help keep the town clear of rad scorpions and coyotes. Not many people live in good springs, so wildlife is always creeping in. I kind of wish she was a companion. Uh, well let's talk about the areas around good springs. Sure, what do you want to know? First of all, what other towns are nearby? Southeast of here is Prim. Can't miss it. Since it has the giant old roller coaster right in the middle of town. The NCR's got an outpost there. If you follow the road north, you'll eventually hit Sloan and Quarry Junction. They mine rocks or something, but I heard they got troubles lately. I wouldn't head that direction if I were you, though. Got critters up there that don't take kindly to getting shot. Yeah, Trudy said that they're the kind of critters that only get mad when you shoot them. Doesn't sound fun. Uh, NCR? The New California Republic. Bunch of settlers and soldiers coming in from the west, fixing on making Nevada their own. They can be right pushy, but the roads are safer because of them, so I tend to let it go. Not that I got a choice. Yeah, I mean, you got a point there. So what does the NCR keep you safe from, exactly? Well, the wildlife for one thing, rowdy locals for another. They're protecting their own. Just happens to help us. They've been holding off this other group from the east, too. So what do you know about this other group? I heard they're called the Legion? Got a funny name. Call themselves Caesar's Legion. Never seen them in these parts, so I couldn't tell you much. I hear rumors, that's about it. Supposedly, they keep slaves and they got some real nasty ways of killing folks. But maybe that's just something folks in the NCR cooked up to make themselves seem more useful here. Less uninvited. Uh, makes sense. What kind of creatures are out there? Around here, mostly coyotes and geckos. The coyotes are pretty dangerous in large packs, but otherwise they're nothing to really worry about. The geckos aren't too tough, but they've got a nasty bite. I've heard about bigger, nastier versions out in the wasteland, but I've never seen them. Stick to the roads when you can, and steer clear of the hills north of Good Springs. The critters up there are big and poisonous. Okay, sounds good. Um, that's all I wanted to, uh, wanted to know. Let's talk about something else. If you want to know anything else, just ask. Uh, goodbye. <laughs> Until next time. Toodles. Yeah, I kind of wish she was a companion. Oh, Ringo, there you go. Thanks What's up, again man? For all your help. So I'm not gonna. I don't like. I don't plan to ever playing caravan. So, can you tell me anything about Good Springs? Well, I've never stopped here until recently. You're better off asking one of the locals. Okay. Goodbye. Yeah. Trudy, Trudy. Guess what? We helped, or we won. I'm glad that business is over. I like it when Good Springs is nice and quiet. So you don't have any new dialogue? Nope. All Be right. Be careful out there. See you later, Trudy. It's nice meeting you. Um. All right. Let's go talk to Chet. I think Chet might have um some stuff that I would probably like to buy. 
That was a hell of a fight. Yes, it was. Let's hope it doesn't bite us in the ass later on. Nah, it shouldn't. I literally just blew him up, so... Uh... What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. Uh, tell me about the weapons and mods and ammo and stuff like that that you sell. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. Okay, makes sense. Uh, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a new Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Uh, have you ever been to this new Vegas that you speak of? Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Okay. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. Yes, that makes sense. Uh, I'd like to know more about Mr. House. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's gotta be a good thing, right? Yeah, I guess it kinda is. Uh, anything else you can tell me about the Great Cons? They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. So they're drug dealers. Got you. So I do want to know what you have for sale. Okay, right here. Can do. All right. Um, I don't think he has anything spectacular. I think he did have fusion cells, though, if I remember correctly. Um... Before I forget, that radio probably already got me demonetized. So if you could do me a favor and somewhat offset the lack of getting money out of this or whatever by just giving me a like on this video, I would greatly appreciate it, man. Alright, so 39 energy cells. Let's go ahead and buy those. I would like overcharged. Are these ammo? I think they are. I would like to buy some... Oh, wait a minute. Laser pistol? What's the difference between the one I have and this one? Probably mods, realistically. Um... So, plasma pistol high energy ionizer. Plasma pistol mag accelerator. Plasma pistol. This guy sells a bunch of stuff. For the plasma pistol, I should have freaking invested in that man to be honest. Um, nah, looks like we're, looks like we're good. Ten stim packs. All right, yeah, we're Thanks. good. We'll see you later, Chet. Take it easy now. Yeah, that's like copyrighted music is like a YouTuber's worst nightmare because we essentially work for free if that's the case. Let me see if I can actually turn down. Does this affect the ambient music? Yes, it does. And I don't want to mess. The oh, radio. We're going to have to turn that off. Unfortunately, but I think that's everybody that we wanted to talk to. Yeah, I think that's everybody we wanted to talk to. So let's go ahead and make our way over to Prim. Got a plasma pistol, baby. Let's do this. Yeah, man, I fucking love New Vegas. Oh, yeah, another thing, too, is like once we get the screen of, oh, be careful. Uh, do you like your character and your stats? 
I gotta change out my um my tag skills, dude, because uh I set it up to where <laughs> it's beneficial for me in uh in Good Springs, but it's not very beneficial for my specific build outside of Good Springs. So now that the whole Good Springs situation is done, I will be changing my three tag skills. Uh, I'm kind of looking f to get um barter for you know buying energy cells and stuff like that um energy weapons of for obvious reasons i'm trying to spec into energy weapons and repair for obvious reasons but specifically because i do like that whole jury rigging perk and stuff but yeah i, I do want to repair my stuff pretty quickly too all right so rebuild character Oh no, I hope. Um, are you sure you want to, this be your character? I'll have to do all of this again? Alright, six. This was six. Charisma was one. I'm not expecting to, <laughs> to know much of anything in this game. Uh, agility was seven and seven. Alright, done. A uh, barter. Take that off, energy weapons, take off speech, and then we'll put it into repair. Barter, energy weapons, repair. Right? Yep. And then it was built to destroy and fast shot. Uh, yep. So we're good. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let me double check, dude, because that would suck. Oops. If I messed up my stats. Uh, special. So that's five. Perception six. Endurance six. Charisma one. Intelligence eight. Agility. And luck seven. Why am I negative? On agility. Is that my armor? Yep. My armor takes away one agility. Did I just level up too? Very freaking nice. Um, let me see here. Let's put this into energy weapons, I guess. Hold on, I'm going to go to the next screen and see. Because I do kind of want rapid reload, man. Rapid reload is pretty important so what do i need i need uh guns level 30 what shit okay let's go back let's take all of this guns well that's not too hard so 30 we'll put the rest into energy weapons so now let's get rapid reload yep very nice yeah because rapid reload man is one of those things that Comes in handy, man, with realistically any gun-related build. Or weapons-related build, I should say. Dude, I'm, like, nervous for some reason. Like, not necessarily, like... Oh, look. It's the Powder Puff gains. I'm tempted to just blast them right here now. Well, looks like they answered that question for me. Oh no, it's already damaged. Very nice. And I don't have a I don't have other things to help out with this either, man. So I may need to uh to get a replacement. Oh, this is one of the camps. I don't know why you guys are pissed off. You guys attacked me first. Do I have a secondary weapons? 357 Magnum revolver. Decent. Um, condition. Mercenaries grenade. I do have some. Some decent uh, weapons. Let's go ahead and repair one of these. Which one has the most? This one. All right. All right. Let's go over to Prim and see what's going on in this direction. 
I do love energy weapons, man. Specifically the laser rifle. Like, I know a lot of people like plasma rifles and everything. I like plasma rifles, but laser rifles, I don't know what it is about laser rifles, but the whole aesthetic behind laser rifles, the whole concept behind laser rifles, the sound of them, the way it looks, and Fallout 76 did something really freaking cool in my opinion and add ultra sight weapons, which changes the, um, the, uh, what's it called? The laser color, man, and that's freaking awesome, dude. Die! Um. God, I need to find a. Uh, someone to repair my weapons. Alright, let's go. I do want. I, I should take off my... Let's put on some... Lightweight leather armor and get our agility back. So, special, yep. It doesn't look as good, but... Actually, it doesn't look bad. Look at that flag. Nicely illuminated and everything. Let's go check it out. It's a California flag with a bear... With two flags. New California Republic. Looks like we found the NCR. Oh, look. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. Um, so what's going on in Prim? Some convicts from the prison up the road have taken over the town. Everyone inside is either dead or in hiding. What's more, there are two tribes of raiders causing trouble in this area as well. You'd be safer heading back up to Good Springs. Uh, shouldn't you be protecting the town or something? We'd love to. They don't fall under NCR jurisdiction. Even if they did, we're in no shape to protect them. Why can't you protect them exactly? We don't have the equipment to take out the convicts. And even if we did, we need some extra hands for backup. You should talk to Lieutenant Hayes. He's in a tent down the road. Just stay on the west side of the overpass if you don't want to get shot. All right, we'll do. No, wait, I'm not done talking to you. Come back here. You. We won't go quiet. Uh, looks like he doesn't have much to say. I see an ammo can. Oh, it's all tagged as owned. Well, that sucks. So let's go and he said his Lieutenant Hayes was down the road. I'm assuming where that flag is. Uh, but he said he's in the tent. I don't see any tents. Ooh, who's this guy? Can I talk to him? Hello. We won't go quietly. Okay. Yeah, your uh, teammate down the road said the same thing. The Legion won't go down quiet or won't go down. Uh, we won't go down quietly against the Legion. Whatever the hell he said. I don't know. Well, we found the tents. Let's go ahead and put our weapon away. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. Um, where are you from? I'm from the hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non commissioned officers are. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Sir. Um, alright, let's check this tent. Oh, yeah, that's Lieutenant Hayes' tent. Who are you? Don't go quietly. Man, it's a real uphill fight these days. You, no, wait, don't I'm lay down. I'm not sure how we're going to handle all these convicts. Get up, Lieutenant Hayes. Stop being lazy. I need to speak to you. I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? What's your business? What are you doing here? We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. So what's the problem with your mission? The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. The convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. What what was this about the correctional facility you were talking about? Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And have been ransacking the area since then. Damn. Do you have any information on the convicts? Not much. 
They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers, mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought, most of them at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. Um, well, I have some other questions. I have some free time. Ask away. Goodbye. Sir. <laughs> so, he did not answer any of my questions. Or, uh, give me any valuable information, I should say. Let's go inside Prim. 30 rounds, though, man. I need to... I really need to switch out my weapon, man, for a while. Um. Yeah, let's go with the varmint rifle. It should be somewhat effective. NCR trooper. Oh, wait, dude, there's landmines. A lot of them. Let's go ahead and disarm them before they blow our freaking legs off. Is that all of them? I think so. We should probably sneak because he said that there's a lot of convicts around here. Um, let's go left since I see a little building right here. I don't see anybody. Like nobody at all. Weird. All right, let's sneak because we're gonna be going in here. Deputy Beagle's residence. It's set to owned. Can I? Uh, well, that tells me he's still alive. That's a good thing, I suppose. Let's check this building. I don't want to lose karma by going into the. Okay, there we go. This one, it's the sheriff's office. What the hell was that? I don't know. That was weird. Kind of scary. Um, all of these things are empty. Toolbox. Yeah, I'm not planning to craft anytime soon. Oh my god, there's dead bodies here. Sheriff's duster. Sheriff's hat. Brahmin skin. No, thank you. Oh, that's the sheriff and his wife. Someone destroyed them. Cabinet. Bottle cap, wastelander outfit. Cool. Um, Looks like there's nothing here besides the sheriff's duster. Can I go? Can I look at this? No. Oh, I didn't want to sit down. I want to look inside the desk. Let me off, damn it. Desk, bottle cap. Don't mind if I do. I definitely always use... The ammo. Alright, well, let's go and... Oh, wait. Oh, he's a convict. Got him! Dude, we literally... Literally one-shotted him. Oh, God. We're cautioned. I see you. Dude, these are all, they are all getting one-shotted. I'm not complaining. Alrighty. Oh, there's somebody up there. Well, I don't even think I'm going to be able to hit him from here. Um, NCR, money, bobby pin, bottle caps, hockey mask, that's cool. I'll take this for... Obvious reasons. Fixing stuff like that, my stuff. That too. Let's see how far I can fix my my weapon. So far it's uh in really really good condition. Alright, we're gonna go inside that building here shortly, but first Mojave Express Delivery. I want that caravaner outfit too. That looked pretty cool. Is this a hollow tape I can actually listen to? Uh, is it under misc? 
Uh, deliver the package at the north entrance to the uh, Vegas Strip by the way of Freeside. An agent, an agent of the recipient will meet you at the checkpoint. Take possession of the package and pay for the delivery. Bring the payment to Johnson Nash at the Mojave Express Agency in Prim. We're in Prim. Bonus on completion, 250 caps. Manifest, this package contains two oversized dice composed of fuzzy material uh, contract penalties. You are an authorized agent of the Mojave Express package until the delivery is complete and payment has been processed. Contractually obligated to complete this transaction and materially responsible for the malfest na whatever or loss failure to deliver the proper uh, to the proper recipient may result in forfeiture of your advance and bonus criminal charges and or pursuant by the mercenary reclamation teams the mojave express is not responsible for any injury or loss of of life you experience as a result said uh, recl uh reclamation efforts wow Sunny, uh, Sunny Smiles told you that the old Good Springs schoolhouse contains a safe, uh, which has, which no one in town has been able to crack. She helpfully provided you with some bobby pins and a copy of magazine Locksmith's Reader in case you wanted to take a shot at opening the safe. All right, Mojave Express delivery order six of six. So. Deliver the package to the northeast center uh, entrance of the strip. By the way, a freeside agent. This is the same thing. This is literally the same thing. Weird. All right, let's go inside. Maybe there's something that people in here might be able to tell me if there's even friendlies. Doesn't seem like there is. Oh. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. What's up, Mr. Nash? Do you have a floating robot that I can have in the future? Uh, who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. Lived in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. Uh, I'm, a I'm a courier with the uh, Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. Uh, I lost a package I was supposed to deliver. Can you help me out with that? I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? Uh, yeah, here you go. Oh, you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over. But we couldn't turn down the caps. Uh. So what was strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have in the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. Wait. Cowboy robot? You mean the one over there? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen. And he talked more like you or me. Oh, I met him before. Uh, so some men uh, stole my package. A man in a checkered suit and some thugs. Uh, do they happen by any chance to pass this way? Well, now that you mention it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. That's one of them. Uh, one of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them, please. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Beagle. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them, and he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. Okay, so... 
he got captured very nice um so now we got to do a rescue mission i'd like to ask you something else i guess i don't have anywhere better to be where can I get information, uh, information on the man who shot me, Deputy Beagle? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. I want to ask you some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Sure. Oh, I, I, I think we've I already exhausted this. Yep, all right. So we're good. Dude, look at all these guys that are like fully armed. Hey. Look at this robot. Prim Slim. <laughs> Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So who are you? Prem Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot of the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! Uh, who were Vicky and Vance? That sounds awfully familiar. Where have you been, partner? Hiding under a rock? Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Oh, you mean Bonnie and Clyde. <laughs> Alright, tell me the whole story of Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. Two so days? copying who? Now, true. Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless, too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway, it was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your eyes on the genuine death car just over yonder. And there's Vance's machine gun in the case next to it. Um, so tell me about Prim. Prim is a thriving resort community located in Clark County, Nevada, right along Interstate 15. Whether you can't wait till Vegas to try your luck, or want to hit one last jackpot before you leave Nevada, Prim's your place. The town's premier attraction is the world-famous Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. So you came to the right place, partner. Uh, what about the Bison Steve Hotel across the street? <clears throat> the Bison Steve is one of Prim's less impressive casino hotels. I'd steer clear of that place, partner, if I were you. Rumor is the dealer's over there cheap, and that rickety roller coaster is liable to fall down mm -hmm. any day because it wasn't built to cold. Sounds like, uh, competition. So what is this place? Why, this is the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Prim's premier tourist attraction and resort destination. Yeehaw! <laughs> well, nice talking to you, Mr. Prim Slim. Happy trails, partner. All right, let's see if there's anybody else we can talk to. That's just a normal NPC patrolling in this area. Who are you? Rudy. Ru oh, this is uh, the Hello wife. There. What brings you to Prim? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, may I ask who you are? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. My husband and I are prim long-timers. He fancies himself a traitor, and I know my way around the kitchen. Oh, okay, that's cool. Well, what do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor, and it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly safe. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Um. Yeah, I don't think I want to try it. <laughs> I'd like some of your rad scorpion. I can sell it. Does sound good, don't it? How many rad scorpion glands you got? Absolutely none. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Okay, well, maybe. Tell me about Prim. 
My mother taught me never to say something unless it was nice. So, I don't have nothing to say about Prem, for the time being at least. It's a sad state of affairs. Discuss it with Mr. Nash if you care to. Just makes me want to cry. Aw. Don't worry, I'll take care of the whole situation. Bye. Aw. That's sad. Well, one thing's for sure. We're definitely going to give this lady her home Hi. back. Hi. Get out of my way, prim resident. Is there anybody else I can talk to? Oh, I'm not opening that. I'm not trying to get blasted here. Is this just a normal uh, prim resident? Yes. All right, let's look in here. I think, I think everything in here is, yeah, I figured. Nine millimeter submachine gun. All right, yeah, I'm not gonna be risking anything. Wait, what's this guy? Oh, that's Johnson Nash. Howdy. Um, howdy. Activate Vance's outfits. These mannequins display replicas of the clothing that was found in the trunk of Vicky and Vance's death car. Uh, Vance didn't share Vicky's sense of fashion and chose to dress himself uh, how he envisioned a gangster would dress. Okay. There's um, nothing there. On either. But very nice. Alright. Uh, activate Vance's Howdy. personal machine gun. Howdy. The 9mm submachine gun preserved in the glass case to the left of this plaque is the actual weapon Vance carried in a paper wrap box under some suitcase in the trunk of his car during his and Vicky's crime spree. Never fired and <laughs> luckily untouched by the hail of bullets that ended the, notori the notorious owner's life. The weapon's mint condition inspires dread in all who look upon it. Experts speculate that Vance might have killed as many as 50 people had he ever fired the gun. <laughs> uh, so long as his uh, aim was exact and he was staring off with a full clip. We'll call it a magazine, but nice try. Or even if he had additional ammo magazines and remembered to reload <laughs> that's pretty funny examine case um the, this is the same thing huh is it the same thing yeah it's the same thing it says to the left but there's nothing to the left Howdy. did we look in here yeah we did all right let's go kill that one guy that was outside on top of the um the roller coaster and then from there we're probably gonna go well we'll probably go around this entire building because we have to go save the deputy but I'm not sure we're gonna have enough time to do that in this video are we okay so we're gonna go around and hopefully see if we can uh, take out any of these guys Uh, he was up there, but I'm not sure if I can go up there this way. Well, it looks like I can. Where is that guy? I could have sworn I saw somebody up here. Oh, there he is. He's a little too far for me. So let's get a little bit closer. I wouldn't be surprised if there's more people on this roller coaster, though. And he's definitely armed. I could see him from here. We gotta creep our way over there because I'm pretty sure this guy is a sniper. He wouldn't be up here if he was like a shotgunner. You know what I mean? Pistol, maybe. Um, although most handguns are not very accurate past like 50 meters and stuff, but it's definitely a lot better than a, a shotgun. All right, let's go ahead and reload. Um. Oh God, what the hell's going on? All right, there we go. Uh, we'll go with the head. We're good here. Oh. 
God, I love that. This guy was a melee build. It does not get any worse than that. I'll take that. Um, we'll repair this. Look at that. We're already past the the good air, uh, threshold in condition. If I jump down, will I die? I don't want to risk it. Let's go all the way back and then we'll just go around the normal way. Just in case. Just the two of us. I'm not sure if I like this armor. Yeah, it doesn't take away anything from me. Let me know down in the comments if what kind of armor I should wear that would favor probably like agility or luck. Since I'm going to be a Vats guy, you know? Or hell, even perception for my, my for my accuracy. That way, uh, I can start planning out for that in the future. Probably be a while before I get it, but only because it, you know, I my videos are typically somewhere between thirty to forty-five to an hour. No, I don't like to go over an hour, even though occasionally it does. I don't think there's anybody else here. Dude, that moon... That moon actually looks great. Oh my god, dude, that has... That has really good details. I'm impressed. Can I actually go in through here? I can. Not planning on it though, not yet. I kind of want to, well I mean I am planning on it, what am I talking about, but I kind of want to check out this entire area first. Make sure there's no powder gangers or whatever. Oh fuck, ah! Okay, it didn't kill me. All right, let's go over there and check out these houses. You never know, there's probably some good loot in there. And realistically, as many times as I've played this, I've never had a need to go in there. But I'm in an exploring mood with this let with these Let's Plays, so I kind of want to see what's inside of them. No, thank you. Do I lose karma? Let me see. I don't lose karma by coming in here. There's like nothing in here either though. Cabinet. Um. No, I don't want to steal anything. I'm literally just here to look. Purified water, tracking. If everyone's dead, well, I guess these are people that are inside the um. That one, uh, casino, right? But let's just do a quick look around. Before we actually go and save the good old sheriff's deputy. But as we know, the sheriff himself is dead. These are nice little cozy homes. I like them. There's nothing really here, but I do like them. Can I sleep here? I can. 357 mag. Uh, 357 rounds? Nice. Oh, this is empty. I don't know why I opened it. That's empty. Alright, let's go. Looks like we got two more houses and then I suppose we can go. Wait, I didn't check the uh, mailbox to this one. Oh, this one's empty. This one has something. Lad's life. Survival plus 10. Sure. Sure. Nice. Whoa, this one's pretty badly taken care of. I don't think anyone lives in this one. Nope. I mean, that's our answer. What the fuck? What is that? 
Someone had to have killed this guy, dude. He literally had a freaking switchblade in his eye. Oh, God, that scared me. Wall safe? What's in here? I legitimately don't know what's in here. If you guys know what's in this safe, definitely let me know in the comments. I'll know to come back at a later time. But I don't have the ability to lockpick it, though. So, I can't. Paint gun? Does that actually work as an actual gun? Kind of curious. Um. Alright, what's in here? Nah, it doesn't look like there's much. How do all these people shit, dude? Like, every single house we went to has a broken toilet. Even the ones that are clearly lived in. Uh, cabinet. Another 357. Oh, I gotta steal this. Um, yeah, fuck it. Sorry. Alright, well, that's that. Let's go and park our happy butts outside of the Bison Steve, I think it's called. Lucky Casino. I think it's called the, the Bison Steve. Wait, hold on. Is there anything around here? Dude, this place is as abandoned as it comes. Please let this be. Yes! 556. Five, 556. Five, so I got ammo for this. Milserp review? What does Milserp review do, anyways? I don't remember. Um. Oh, it's probably under 8, huh? Milserp review, right there. Uh, guns plus 10. That would be useful. Nash residence. Let's see what kind of things this guy has for us. Oh, look. It's a robot. Um. I don't think I have the ability to do any of this. I'm probably going to come back later and see if we can uh, fix him some later time. Wow, this is a huge bed. Obviously for him and his wife, but... Settler outfit. I'm not gonna lose karma for one bottle cap. Alright. Dude, this guy's house is all kinds of fucked up. Alright, let's go. This house is as boring as they come. Alright. But that's gonna do it for us in this video, you guys. We're dangerously close to one hour, so we're definitely gonna cut it sh uh, just slightly short. I know it's not by much, but it is what it is. In the next video, we're definitely going to do a rescue mission for a good old, for the good old uh, sheriff's deputy since he got himself captured. I think his name is Beagle, Deputy Beagle. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, do me a huge favor, drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.